Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel OK Pharma Smart. Today I am going to explain some concepts which is which will be useful in your entrance exam preparation like GPAT, NIPER and many more. So we will see theories of dissolution. There are basically three types of dissolution theory. First is a dis diffusion. Diffusion layer model. Also known as film theory. Second is Dan what model Dan what's model or penetration or surface theory and lastly interfacial barrier model interfacial barrier model first we will see diffusion layer model or also known as film theory this theory is the simplest and the most common theory for dissolution when solid drug particle immersed in a liquid without involving reactive or chemical forces dissolution take place it take place in two consecutive steps first the solid drug particle when immersed in a liquid uh, dissolved forms a thin film or a layer at the solid liquid interface called as the stagnant film or diffusion layer which is saturated with the solid drug particle this step is rapid known as stagnant diffusion which having a thickness of H second step is the diffusion of the solute from the stagnant layer to the bulk of the media this step is slower and therefore it is a red determining step and this model is known as the diffusion layer model the rate of dissolution was given by noise and Whitney equation which is dc by dt is equals to k into cs minus cb where dc by dt is the dissolution rate of the drug k is the dissolution rate constant cs is the concentration of drug in the stagnant layer which is also known as saturation layer or maximum drug solubility cb is the concentration of drug in the bulk solution Fick's second law, Nurst and Brunner incorporated Fick's first law of diffusion and modified the noise whitney equation and give dc by dt equals to d a k w by o into cs minus cb upon v h whereas dc by dt is the dissolution rate of the drug capital D is the diffusion coefficient of the drug a is the surface area of the dissolving solid Kw by O is the partition coefficient of the drug. V is the volume of the dissolution medium. H is the thickness of the stagnant layer. And Cs minus Cb are the concentration gradient for diffusion of drug. When capital D which is the diffusion coefficient is higher, faster will be the dissolution. Higher will be the yeah, faster will be the dissolution which can be achieved by micronization of the drug. Kw by O, if it is having higher value, means it is high C, Cs minus Cb, higher the concentration gradient, greater will be the dissolution. The thickness should be less for higher dissolution. Now we will see one graph. Now we will see plot of concentration of dissolved drug versus time. 
then solid drug particle is dissolved in sufficient quantity of bulk then the drug follows first order dissolution rate which is under non sink condition and it is generally observed in in vitro conditions when the drug particle is dissolved in large quantity of solvent or bulk media then it follows zero order reaction which is under the sink condition and it is generally observed in in vivo conditions second is dankwitz model theory or surface renewal theory dankwitz told that there is a turbulence in the dissolution media exists at the solid liquid interface because of that the agitated fluid consisting of macroscopic packets reach the solid liquid interface in a random fashion due to eddy current absorbs the solid by diffusion and carried to the bulk of the solution such solute containing packets are continuously replaced with the fresh packet due to which the drug concentration at the solid liquid interface never reaches cs and has a lower limiting value of ci since the solvent packets are exposed to new solid liquid surface each time this theory is called as surface renewal theory the dankwitz model is expressed by equation v dc by dt is equals to dm by dt which is equals to a into cs minus cb into root of gamma d where m is the mass of the solid dissolved and gamma is the rate of surface renewal or the interfacial tension which is this is a fresh packet of solvent approaching at the interface this is the packets of solvent which is saturated with drug leaving the interface and this is the bulk of the solution lastly third interfacial barrier model which is also known as double barrier or limited solvation theory the diffusion layer model and the dankwitz model were based on two assumption first is the red determining step and second is the solid solution equilibrium according to the interfacial barrier model an intermediate concentration exists at the interface as a result of solvation mechanism and is the function of solubility rather than diffusion when considering the crystals each face of the crystal will have a different interfacial barrier such a concept is given by the equation g is equals to ki into cs minus cb where g is dissolution rate per unit area ki is the effective interfacial transport constant and cs minus cb are the concentration gradient in this theory the diffusivity that is capital d are independent of the saturation concentration cs the interfacial barrier model extended to both diffusion layer model and the dankwitz model thank you